Hello everyone. So when we left off, we could go on for infinity in every direction, but the biomes weren't very interesting. Uh, this is actually significantly more interesting than usual. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make it so the biomes are a lot more interesting. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to change how the biomes are calculated. Right now we do a lot of the calculation in the wrong spot. We do it here in chunk. And remember this get theoretical byte? Get theoretical byte allows us to determine what brick should be in a particular spot even if the chunk doesn't exist. And that means that we can always check and see any given point in the universe what brick should be there. But here's what's tripping us up. This part down here, what we do is we get all this information about the biome and we get the specific brick type that the biome wants to put down and then we say, well, you know, if the mountain value isn't high enough, then um, we're going to return blank. But we don't want to do that. We want to always return the brick. Now, if we hit play, what we're going to find is that uh, we just have a whole bunch of maximum height chunks. And the reason that this is running significantly slower is because every single brick and every single one of these chunks exists. Um, obviously, that's not what we want. What we want, the do what we want to do is we want to make the biome actually volunteer empty bricks. And that's here in get brick. So right now, what we do is we say, uh, uh, if best bitter equals null return zero, best bitter brick. Um, the problem is that right now we have a bunch of uh, uh, biomes which volunteer a above ground brick. So here, um, in the, the flatlands biome, we say that if it's above ground level, return sand. And that means that it's always going to return sand. It never bothers to work out whether or not it's too high for the sand. It only cares whether or not the sand, uh, whether or not it's above ground level. And that's where our weakness is. Uh, if we were to change this to below ground level, and we have to do the same thing to Iceland and the Painted Desert, let's go ahead and just actually delete the Painted Desert to go up Iceland. Uh, above ground level, let's change this to below ground level and change this to ground level. Uh, if we do this, we should find that all of the uh, all of them are much lower to the ground. We didn't find that, however. Uh, something's screwy going on here. I wonder what the heck this is. This is kind of crazy, isn't it? Uh, so it's, it's still not functioning, but we needed to basically... Uh, that is the problem. It's just that the below ground level stuff isn't, isn't working either. So basically, we want this to, uh, when we, so let's walk through this, just so we don't get too confused here. When, if there is no best bidder, we return a zero brick, which is empty. We go through every single one of the brick layers, and we ask it for a bid. And if its bid is better than our zero, than our uh, current bid, then we make it the highest bidder, and we return whatever its brick is. Excuse me. So the key here is that over here in Bricklayer, we have to make it so that this bid will return um, crap if, uh, if, if it doesn't like what it sees. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and just to show that this is something we want to be able to get rid of, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the above ground level condition entirely and this Bricklayer condition entirely. Because those are now degenerate conditions. And uh, you can see now that it goes up to only to 12 height rather than to 50 height. Because we're no longer able to get anything higher than 12 height. Of course, we want to be able to. So, what we really need to do is we need to change these brick layer conditions. The problem is that right now the brick layer conditions are just one word above ground level, ground level, below ground level. That doesn't really make any sense. What we need to do is we need to change the brick layer conditions into something a little bit more complicated. Which we're going to do like this. So we say public uh, uh, brick, uh, yeah, brick layer condition condition and public float uh, val threshold. There we go. 
And here when we do bricklayer condition conditions, we actually want this to be bricklayer attribute attributes. <sighs> and here we do attributes.length. Just wanted to make sure that works, but as you can see, it's now returning nothing all of the time. And the reason for that is because we don't have anything. Um, we changed the name from uh, conditions to attributes, so it doesn't actually exist anymore. Let's go ahead and just make it one biome so we can play around some. And we're going to go ahead and do it uh, here. Attributes size 1, condition ground level, and attributes size 1 condition below ground level. There we go. So now, of course, what we need to do is we need to change it so that the conditions actually make sense. And uh, that's easy enough. Here, when we do above ground level, ground level, below ground level, all of this stuff no longer makes any sense. So we're going to go ahead and change it out. We're going to go ahead and make it so that it is um, y val. No, oh, just call it height. Uh, mountain uh, below height, above height, above mountain value, below mountain value. Now let's go ahead and keep these in the same order for all of them. Above blob value, below blob value. And then here, we have to change these, obviously. If attributes.threshold is greater than, oops, sorry, attributes a.threshold is greater than uh, blob value, bid plus plus, brid. Come on. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Break. Now for below blob value. And then two more. So here we do uh, above height. And here we do below height. And here we do above mountain value. And here we do below mountain value. And of course, we change these to be the proper things. All right, so let's go ahead and see whether or not we can get this to work. So right now, we have this uh, brick layer dirt. So let's go ahead and say that we're going to have it so that the dirt works if it is below height 8. And then down here we're going to say that the sand will work if it is a below height 20 and above mountain value. Uh, mountain value runs from 0 to 1, so above mountain value 0.5. Shall we see how that works? Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, that is slow as balls. It shouldn't be that slow. So you can see that this is entirely flat, and that's um, not something I expected, actually. I'm not sure why it is this flat, nor am I sure why it is this slow. Why is it so slow? Now why is it flat? Um, well, well, the sand and the dirt were at the same height, even though one of them should have happened at height level 12 and the other one at height level oh. 
You can see a little pocket down there. Something's going on. Let's take a quicker look here. You can see that there's some pocket down here. So we're actually looking at the highest height value. But there is an empty space down here at the bottom. Um, like a pocket that got carved out of the bottom where it didn't take. So I'm not sure... Do I have it so that Y is inverted? That doesn't make... that wouldn't make any sense. Um, is this 20? What is this height? 20, this is a height... height 20. So it is up at height 20. But the problem is that only one of these should be at height 20. We should have sand at height 20. Oh, I guess it is sand. It was just that the range made it blur out to look like dirt. So it looks like sand is always triggering, which means that the mountain value is always being considered. Oh, no, that's a problem. Right now, the problem is that uh, any of the attributes being correct counts as all of them being correct. And we want it the other way around. So we're going to go ahead and say, um, if bid is less than attributes.length, return 0. It's still very, very slow. And here you can see that this doesn't make any sense, because that's definitely dirt, and it's at height 20. So I feel like there's something I've implemented wrong here at some level. Um, Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong. Um, some of you may have noticed it by now, but I certainly haven't. It could just be that mountain value is not between 0 and 1 like I thought it was. Um, but that would be really awkward. So this is all sand. So this is all sand at height 20, which is odd because I just changed it so that it shouldn't be able to go that high. Oh, I think I know what's going on. I had happened to choose the same height threshold as the max height of the flatlands. Okay, that was the issue. Um, I think. I hope. So here in Chunk, we do uh, moisture rockiness biome. Height base is min height. Max height is max height. Height swing equals. So then we do uh, da, 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 calculate noise values, mountain value plus equals power bonus. Do we have a power bonus? Negative 0.3. That's probably a part of the problem. Um, mountain value equals mathf.pow. I can't be part of the problem. Okay. Um, mountain power. Do we have a mountain power here? Mountain power 1. That's. So we no longer even use this stuff. Let's go ahead and comment it out. And if we track through this, um, we find that we are doing some modifications to the mountain value. So let's go ahead and just comment them out too. And we just have the very, very basic passing of the the position, the mountain value, and the blob value into our biome. Um, 
um, and our biome should then go through each of the bricklayers, ask them for a bid, and then if the bid is better than the best bid, pass that back. And in our case, the sand is always the best bid, um, even though, and it goes up to height level 20, even though that doesn't make any sense. So below height, hmm, why wouldn't that work right? We're still at height 20. Well, height 20 is actually the maximum height of the entire chunk, now that I'm thinking about it, um, because we have very short short blocks. So it's filling up entirely with sand. It's 100% sand, so we're not working at all here. Um, the bid, that was, that was what I was missing here. Um, the bidding system is currently selecting a, a bricklayer that shouldn't be selectable. Well, one of the big problems is I've got all of these backwards. <sighs> that may be the only problem I have, actually. Let's go ahead and find out. Now, this looks more hopeful. We have different varieties happening here. Oh man, so that was the whole thing. I just had them fucking backwards. Brilliant. All right, so I've gone on long enough, but I want to make it so that we can see a little bit of actual stuff going on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, below height 30 and above mountain value 0.8, and that should get us some some sandy bulges. Yeah. So what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to refine that a little bit more so that it's not as awkward. Um, for example, what we actually want to do is uh, have a tapering system where uh, the bids have a certain amount of uh, weight to them. So rather than above height, or rather than saying below height 30, you would say tending towards height 30 or something similar. That's going to wait until next time because I've gone on for plenty long. Um, I don't think I'm going to put this one up for download because it's in such a mediocre state, but uh, if there are requests, I suppose I will. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm sorry that this one didn't go quite as far as I wanted because of all that really dumb mistake I made for 10 minutes straight. <laughs>